Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, Two Old Guys Reviewing the Vintage Film Channel. We discovered a great old TV show. Does this look familiar? Right. Over here on the, uh, wait, on wait, the wait, side wait. of the screen? Here, watch. Chong. Chong, yeah. Right. A Mark 7 limited production. Right. Dragnet was the show. It was, and there were two things about Dragnet. One was the theme, dum da dum dum, and then the other was that closing chonk chonk with the Mark Seven production. So this is a classic show, classic crime show, early television. What were the years, Art? Uh, Fifty-one to fifty-nine. There were about three hundred episodes. Uh, not to be confused with the sixty-seven to seventy uh, series, which I think had about a hundred episodes. First one was with Ben Alexander as right. the sidekick, and the second one was with with uh, everybody's uh, favorite Mash guy, uh, Harry Morgan. Harry Morgan, long uh, before Mash, yeah. right? And it went from black and white to color. But the interesting thing that I found out about all this stuff was that uh, Jack Webb had played it uh, on radio for many years, and uh, because he's a little stiff, I guess <laughs> you might say. Uh, probably didn't want to play it on TV, and they were, he was looking for an alternative. They, nobody wanted him as uh, uh, an alternative to him, so he wound up uh, playing the role. But his yeah. first, and I, I don't know the fellow's name, his first sidekick was uh, whoever played the person on radio, I think, but he died wow. of a heart attack. So Ben Alexander got gotcha. uh, selected to go in there. And now, I, there's Jack Webb there. Right. Uh, in the picture next to us. And he created the series. Mm. He was the creator, um, head writer, I think, and starred in it. And he created that whole, uh, just the facts, ma'am, you know, the mm. very serious cop approach, uh, which he took from, he said, from real life. You know, the way that's the way cops were. Right. And uh, he made it famous and Nobody, nobody could replace him. He's uh, like a I, Rod Serling Sur of TV cop shows as opposed to TV sci-fi shows. <laughs> yeah, he was. Mm. Look at how young he is here. I, rec I can remember him looking a lot older. Mm. Uh, anyway, great series. Uh, I think it's fair to call it a seminal cop series. And it was maybe the first to approach, uh, you know, the cop mayhem of the streets as a... Uh, Tough guy, a, a serious, no nonsense um, approach. So, uh, really great to see this from the original black and white series on Vintage Film Channel. And I absolutely enjoyed watching it uh, growing up, uh, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed watching uh, this remake. Well, it's yeah, not a remake, one closing my remake of myself watching it. <laughs> That's good. Uh, one closing thought, and that is. I think last week my wife and I watched a Dan Aykroyd remake uh, of Dragnet. It was more comedy, though. <laughs> and, uh, more comedy, and if I was as I was watching the Dan Aykroyd version of Dragnet, I kept thinking to myself, "Geez, you have to be old enough to have seen the original Dragnet to get the idea, the parody of him, all these silly things he's doing." Hmm. So I don't know how many people enjoyed. Uh, how many people under 50 enjoyed the Dan Aykroyd version? But I got a big kick out of it. Well, that's just the facts, man. Just the facts. Just the facts, yeah. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.